Tractor Tales this week takes us to eastern Minnesota for a look at a 1948 Farmall Cub. Originally built for small garden operations, this tractor is surprisingly versatile. This is a 1948 Farmall Cub. Uh, it does have the hydraulic unit on it, which is uh, a nice option. Some of the early Cubs did not have this, um, but it was used, the, the Farmall Cub line had a complete set of implements that were made especially for the Cub tractor and they had the touch control hydraulics that you could raise and lower those implements and it was one of the early tractors as far as having that type of feature available to it. This one was brought to us in nice original condition. It was not too beat up, not totally worn out. In the process of doing the restoration, we did end up overhauling the engine and replacing pretty much every bearing, gasket, seal, race, etc. The Farmall Cub is, is unique uh, in a lot of different ways, but one of the, I guess, kind of a challenging feature for us is that the hood and, and gas tank are all one piece and it goes all the way out to the front of the tractor. A lot of times we have gas tanks that have holes in them that need to be sealed and repaired and then the hoods have their own issues around mufflers and things and usually we can deal with those separately but in this case we have to do it all at once so um, it prevent, presents a little bit more of a, a challenge. But the Cub originally had really narrow rear tires and small 400 by 12 front tires and it was really made as a garden or a small vegetable tractor but as I said before they had implements for everything for these. They had belly mounted blades that you could use for pushing snow or grading a driveway or you could have planters and and uh, even a loader was available for this tractor so they they really were quite diverse. Production of the Farmall Cub began in 1947. The tractor remained relatively unchanged until 1964 when different variations were introduced. Let's head to